here it comes. Oh, that is a blue drink. <laughs> He can shake, he can mix in all the ways he wants. Uh, he can filter the cocktail, he can put ice, he can crush ice, he can put lime, lemon, white and brown sugar and uh, quite 200 ingredients, uh, different ingredients, in order to create a new cocktail. This is not like to replicate standard cocktail, this is, this is to allow people to uh, play with their creativity and create new combination of ingredients. Uh, right now he's taking, uh, let's say, some spirit and uh, some liquor. Then he will go uh, to mix them. He will go to uh, take from the other ingredients from the back of the unit, while the other one is actually starting to take the cup, the plastic cup, in order to be ready for the bartender. We cannot even think to replicate uh, a real bartender with a robot bartender. They are two different ex experiences. The only thing is that uh, we want to empower people to play with their creativity, to think about new kind of combination, and uh, we want to empower people to um, improve. We want, we want to let people improve their life thanks to the help of a robotic arm. It's really nice. First time trying it, of course. <laughs> I'm not feeling particularly threatened, no. Uh, it's a very impressive piece of kit, but uh, I think of, of all of the industries to, to try and uh, usurp mankind in, bartending is probably the hardest for a robot to, to succeed. It was really like as appealing as it did when it first started, but um, you'll get the idea. I think that it can make a, a very delicious drink, but, but that drink is, is being served in an environment where you don't necessarily want to drink a delicious drink. Um, you know, who is, who is picking the playlist in there? Who is, who is uh, welcoming you as you walk in the door uh, and, and making sure that you get into a taxi at the end of the night? Uh, you don't go to a bar just for the cocktails, you go to a bar for a social experience and, and the machines are not social. When you make a Negroni, there's got to be a bit of love. And, you know, when you're trying to do it with a robotic and a shaker, for me, it just doesn't work for a Negroni. A Negroni needs to be stirred. There needs to be a bit of love. So while our bartenders are making those, Antonia, you host and create a lot of high-profile parties. Can you see the make done? Wow. Oh, what do you 
a beta breath. A little bit like something from a slush puppy machine. Oh, oh and it yeah. tastes like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it is, yeah. You know, I totally see why this works. It's fun, it's, you know, a bit of a laugh. But for me, the bartender is always going to win because I want to have a conversation, I want to engage, I want to tell them that I like a long drink, fresh, la la la, la la la. So it's fun, but for me, humans always got to be the top. First place. Mikey! Ooh, I'm sweating. So glad I wore this extra jacket on top of this new shirt. I'm gonna blame my face.